And don't get me wrong, I have seen some um, some non-popular people that would be great for the position. But if you don't have like what the uh, Gen Z say, the clout, mm -hmm. it's gonna be really hard. They got some amazing people that could take a seat of of Mike Getz. But if you don't have the popularity and the influence like Mike Getz, you will get eaten up. Yeah, absolutely. And and that's where you have to have an awareness of, as I mentioned earlier, your your location, where it is that your name is going to be on the ballot for which precincts. And a precinct, yeah. or excuse me, a ward like Mike Getz, Mike has an advantage because you have a higher volume of Republicans in that area than you'd have, say, in wards, uh, you know, one or three or four. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a lot that has to be taken into consideration when running for a seat. I, and to see but what we've been discussing are municipal and school board. But for the partisan side, I am not someone who is open to supporting any individual for a partisan seat that has not been active with the Democratic Party prior to them running for office. And that means yeah. being a consistent donor being someone who is present at events and activities, who helps other campaigns and helps people to victory. I'm not a fan of Johnny Come Lately. I'm not a fan of people who give $10 one time and they think they're gonna run three years later and expect my support and the party support. That's just not how politics works. And mm -hmm. people have to be woken up to that. It's, it's great to have ideals and ideas, but it takes name recognition. It takes walking the talk. It takes either having your own money or being able to raise it. Right. So I highly uh, encourage people that are considering running for office to truly build up themselves in advance of running for a seat if you want to be successful. Because mm -hmm. my mindset is simple. If I'm going to run for an office, there are one of two things that are going to happen. One, I'm going to kick ass. Or two, I'm going to give the competition a run for their money and barely allow them to skate by. Yeah. That's if I do not have the confidence to enter into a situation like that, I'm not putting myself in it. And I think other people mm -hmm. need to have that same mindset. Wow. I 100% I totally agree. 